When you get a new iPhone, the sensible thing to do is probably to trade, resell, or hand down your old one to someone else who needs it. But if you're like me and you collect old useless crap, here are nine things you can do with an old iPhone. Number one, a dedicated iPod and sound system. Even a HomePod mini is a little pricey at $99, but if you have an old iPhone, you can convert it into a room-filling speaker system for a fraction of the price, provided it's not a huge room. You see, there's a category of cheap speakers that work just like wireless chargers. There's nothing to plug in, nothing to pair to over Bluetooth. You just carefully position your phone on top of it, and suddenly it uses induction to amplify the sound to two or three times as loud with much broader sound and bass. I have one of these sitting in my bathroom. I just sit my phone on top of it and suddenly it's loud enough to hear with a running shower from across the room. This one is only $15 on Amazon, or if you want something slightly nicer looking, this one with a wood finish is only $25. They're really cheap. So you sit one of these on a kitchen counter or a living room side table with an iPhone on top of it plugged in. And if it's an iPhone 6S or newer, you can even use so you have voice commands just like a HomePod. Number two, an indoor security camera. Using at-home video streamer, you can convert old iPhones into a DIY baby monitor, dog monitor, or security camera that you can look at from anywhere across the world. And it runs on devices as old as the iPhone 5S or the original iPad Air. You install the streaming app on your old phone and the viewer app on your new phone. You sign in with a username and password. You can give each camera its own username and password as well. And you can monitor all of them from inside the app. To keep it mounted, you can pick up this adjustable tripod that fits any model of iPhone for only $45 on the Cult of Mac store. You can pick up this super wide angle lens with a universal screw on attachment clip that fits any model of iPhone. So you can see the entire room at once with this fish eye view. Number three, you can convert your old iPhone into a dedicated dumb phone. If you're constantly being pulled away from your work by the barrage of text messages, notifications, alerts, you can use your old iPhone as a secondary phone that you switch to with fewer distractions. You know, George R.R. R. Martin writes all of his novels on a 30 year old PC running MS-DOS. That might also be why he doesn't put out very many novels. You sign out of iCloud, you turn off iMessage so you don't get any more texts or calls. And you keep only the apps that you want to use, only the apps you need to work, or maybe you use this phone to have more focused unwinding time with a few games, music, podcasts, or a crossword, stuff like that. If you use it to play games, you can even buy a physical controller that you mount your iPhone in, like the Backbone, so you know this device is only for one purpose. Number four, a webcam using continuity camera. Even an old iPhone has a better camera than even an expensive webcam. So using continuity camera, you can keep your phone mounted above your desktop display, or you can use this Belkin device with MagSafe on your laptop. You just keep your phone steady and horizontal, and the next time you start a FaceTime, Zoom, Skype, WebEx call, it'll use your far superior iPhone camera instead of whatever crummy built-in webcam you have. If you have an older device that doesn't support it, or if you want more advanced features, you can also use Camo. This app gives you built-in video recording, which is what I use to make these videos, and you have fine-tuned controls for exposure, lighting, you have all these built-in effects, you can add graphics, overlays, and more. Number five, you know what's better than one camera? Two cameras. iPhones have been able to record standard 1080p 30 video all the way back since the iPhone 4S in 2011. Now, older phones have much worse low light performance with much smaller sensors, but if you have a pretty well-lit studio like this one, you can get pretty good looking footage out of an older device. And with multiple cameras rolling at once, you can seamlessly transition between different takes rather than using a jarring jump cut. Now, anything older than the iPhone 7 Plus only has a single 1X lens rather than a 2X lens. But again, Moment makes attachable telephoto lenses that screw into their universal attachment mount or using one of their dedicated cases. It's a great way to get extra capability out of an older phone. And you can find all of their older hardware and cases steeply discounted on eBay. Number six, iOS 17 introduced Standby, an excellent feature that converts your phone into a smart display when you're not using it. But the problem is that when you are using it, you don't have your smart display anymore. If your old phone is still new enough to run iOS 17, that's perfect because you can have the best of both worlds. Otherwise, there are still a good number of DIY alternatives. You can keep an iPhone mounted on the wall by your door with the weather app open, so you can see if you need to bring a jacket. You can make it a digital clock using an app like Today Clock, 
or alarm clock for me. You can mount it on the wall with your calendar open. So wherever you get ready for the day, you can see what's coming up ahead. If you search online, you can find 3D printed stands for basically every iPhone ever made. Or you can make your own out of wood or even Lego. You can keep it permanently plugged in and turned on in settings, display and brightness, or on older phones, this is under settings, general, auto lock, and then you set it to never. Number seven, any device running iOS 10 or later can run an app called Digital Photo Frame Slideshow. And with iCloud Photos enabled, you can convert your old phone into a digital picture frame that'll automatically update with all your new shots as you take them on your other devices. There are loads of options for customizing your slideshow, which album it pulls pictures from, how long it shows each one, the transition between pictures, whether it does pictures and videos with sound, loads of customization options. You can get it on the App Store for $9.99 yearly or $29.99 to unlock forever. Number eight, if you have old games from your App Store purchase history from 10 or 15 years ago, they won't run on your new phone anymore, you can reinstall them on an old phone. From the App Store, you tap on your profile icon in the top right, or on an older device, you go to the Updates tab, you hit Purchase, and you can select Not on this iPhone. And from here, you can scroll way, way, way down to the bottom, and anything with a blue icon can be downloaded again. Anything with a gray icon is either too old or too new for the device you're using. The App Store even keeps a record of old versions of apps, so you can reinstall the last compatible version if an app continued to get updates into the future. You can revisit some App Store classics, like the Infinity Blade games, or even the original Flappy Bird. Number nine, if you want to take it to the extreme, you can party like it's 2012 and jailbreak your old phone. Older versions of iOS are incredibly easy to jailbreak. And surprisingly, the Pengu app that jailbreaks iOS 7, 8, and 9 still runs on the current version of Mac OS Sonoma with a modern Mac. On a jailbroken device, you can install all kinds of fun tweaks and wild customizations like Cylinder. You know, this isn't your main phone, so you don't have to worry about losing your pictures with data loss or ruining your iCloud account. An older device might not even support iCloud. Unfortunately, as the years go on, it's getting increasingly hard to install new customizations and tweaks. The biggest city of repo is shutting down their purchase and payment processing system, and a lot of the popular alternative repos that re-hosted a lot of these tweaks for free are no longer online. But there's still a lot you can do. Back in the day, I figured out how to download pirated apps like iPhoto, GarageBand, and iMovie back when they were actually paid apps entirely on my phone for free. I will leave that as an exercise to the readers to figure out due to various legal reasons. But if you want to rediscover what some of these apps were like that you never got a chance to use, a jailbroken iPhone might at least be a fun afternoon. So those are all the best things you can do with an old iPhone. Remember to like and subscribe. Links to everything I talked about, all the apps, all the accessories you can buy are in the video description. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.